Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, with and good evening now to you all. Good evening, Father. And you're very welcome now to our annual Mass here, of course, Thank at St. John's Well. And it is nice to see so many people can make it now this evening. And as we gather, of course, we've always got to remember that the wells, the holy wells around the countryside, of course, which are dotted in many parts of the countryside, and very much, of course, here in our own parish, are always graces, places of great peace, great serenity, of course, and places where people like to just come and simply sit down, I suppose, be with their thoughts, and I mean, we have to say, there's an absolutely gorgeous view, isn't there, really? You know, when we look out around the countryside from here, and uh, I think there was one year we came up, and I could hardly see if had the band were down below. There was so much of a mist and a fog in, but thanks be to God, everybody can be seen tonight. So we gather, and we pray together, and we give thanks to the Lord for one another, and we give thanks to the Lord for all the people, of course, who came here in times gone by, those who organized all the stations here in St. John's Well, of course. I've been asked to pray for two people who died during the year who were regular visitors here, Dan Joe Hallisey of Inchigila and Jim Murray of Carriganema. And we remember, of course, all our own family members and those who granted their eternal reward. So we give thanks to the Lord now for each other and for the gift that we are to each other. And we pray now, and we take a moment in silence now to pray for whatever intentions we have as we come to our Mass here now this evening. So I welcome Father James, of course, a neighbour and a native, of course, and Father Con Kiley, who's a native of Ballydale, to the Mass with me here now this evening. Welcome to the choir here beside me, of course, and the band as well, of course, who are enhancing our liturgy both of them this evening. And we give thanks to the Lord now for all that they do for the parish community. So we begin out by calling to mind our sins. <coughs> <coughs> I confess, mighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord to mercy. mercy. Christ to mercy. mercy. Lord to mercy. Lord, mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, the people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. So let us pray. O God, who raised up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord, give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. reading from the prophet Jeremiah. In the days of Joshua, the word of the Lord was addressed to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you came to birth, I consecrated you. I have appointed you as prophet to the nations. I said, Ah, Lord, look, I do not know how to speak. I am a child. But the Lord replied, Do not say, I am a child. Go now to those to whom I send you, and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to protect you. It is the Lord who speaks. The Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, There, I am putting my words into your mouth. Look, today I am seeing you, I'm setting you, or I'm setting you over nations and over kingdoms, to tear up and to knock down 
to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response, Sam, and the response is, from my mother's womb, you have been my help. From my, from my mother's womb, womb you have been my help. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me, pay heed to me and save me. From my mother's womb, you have been my help. Be a rock where I can take refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Free me from the hand of the wicked, response. From my mother's womb, you have been my help. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, since my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb, you have been my help, response. From my mother's womb, you have been my help. My lips will tell you of your justice and day by day of your help. O God, you have taught me from my youth and I proclaim your wonder still. Response. From my mother's womb, you have been my help. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He came as a witness, as a witness to speak for the light, preparing for the Lord a people fit for him. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In the days of King Herod of Judea, there lived a priest called Zechariah, who belonged to the Abijah section of the priesthood. And he had a wife Elizabeth by name, who was a descendant of Aaron. Both were worthy in the sight of God and scrupulously observe all the commandments and the observances of the law. They were both, they were childless. Elizabeth was barren and they were both getting on in years. Now it was the turn of Zechariah's section to serve and he was exercising his priestly office before God when it fell to him by lot. As the ritual custom was to enter the Lord's sanctuary and burn incense there. And at the hour of the incense the whole congregation was outside praying. Then there appeared to him the angel of the Lord, standing on the right of the altar of incense. The sight disturbed Zechariah, and he was overcome with fear. But the angel said to him, Zechariah, do not be afraid. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth is to bear you a son, and you must name him Jesus. You must name him John. He will be your joy and delight, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He must drink no wine, no strong drink. Even from his mother's womb he will be filled with the Holy Spirit and he will bring back many of the sons of Israel to the Lord their God. With the spirit and power of Elijah he will go before him to turn the hearts of fathers towards their children and the disobedient back to the wisdom that the virtuous have preparing for the Lord a people fit for him. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ. Now just a few minutes now this evening just a few words. Sit down there. And once again, of course, each and every one of you are welcome to the Mass here now this evening. I've met people already who've travelled a long journey. You know, somebody, woman there told me she came from Bantry for the Mass this evening. And I know people up around here will say in this area of the parish and also Mid Cork, of course, the neighbouring parishes have got great devotion, of course, here to St. John's Well. Just indeed, I suppose, as when you go down to Turbridge, I've often gone down and I met an awful lot of people from the East Kerry side and the Killarney side and things like that, as well as the, the Holly side, obviously, you know, who would have great devotion of, to Turbridge. And when we come to our Mass this evening, and the, as we celebrate the Feast of John the Baptist, John was a preacher, he was a prophet, but he was, of course, the person who prepared the way for the Lord. And I suppose it's good for all of us, you know, to remember, as John prepared the way for the Lord, you know, who were the people in our own lives who prepared the way for us? Who gave us guidance? Who gave us inspiration? Do we look up to our parents or our grandparents? Maybe our brothers or our sisters who might be a good neighbour? An uncle or an aunt who was helpful to any of our family? And I think it's good for us all, you know, that the people who were important to us in life, of course, that we never take for granted. And John wanted only to draw attention to Jesus. He never wanted the attention himself. And he had no reservations, I suppose, and no inhibitions in proclaiming that he was proud to be a follower of Jesus. And I suppose that is the challenge that's always placed before us as well. There's the old saying, isn't that if I was arrested for being a Christian, 
would there be enough evidence to convict me? That we should never be af afraid to say that we are followers of Christ, that we believe, that we practice our religion, that we have our own gentle faith, deep faith, many people have deep faith, a faith that's important to ourselves and unique to ourselves. And never be afraid by our words, by our actions and by our deeds, of course, to express it. So this evening, once again, I welcome you all. At this stage last night at the Cemetery Mass in Cullen, the heavens open for a few minutes, so I won't keep you too long tonight, just in case any cloud would start appearing from any side. But to give thanks to the Lord for all of yourselves, of course, who come here on a regular basis to the annual Mass, and give thanks to the Lord for all your families, and we pray that the Lord will journey and guide each and every one of you as you journey through life. And we bring our prayers now to the Lord, to one our Saint John. And we pray for Pope Francis and for our Bishop Ray. Give them the wisdom and courage they need as leaders of the church. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for all the bereaved and sorrowing. And remember especially the past members of the World Committee. Those who have died in our parish this week. And those who died in Berkeley, whose anniversary occurs at this time. May their families and friends receive the comfort and hope they need. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for vocations to the priesthood and religious life that young men and women will listen to your special call. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray that all families will find the help and guidance they need to establish peace and happiness in their homes. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. And we pray for those who have worked to prepare this holy well. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. So these are the prayers and petitions to you, Heavenly Father, at this special Mass here at St. John's Well, and we put them before you through the intercession of Mary and ask you to grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. through your goodness we have the spread to offer which earth is given and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life by the mystery of this water and mine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity blessed are you Lord God of all creation through your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Lord, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For our good and the good of all the Holy Church. 
And we place now these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honour the nativity of him, who both foretold the coming of the world Saviour and pointed him out when he came, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Lord Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and ever -li eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him with a singular honour among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing, even in the womb he leapt for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone, of all the prophets, pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptised the author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Oh, my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you a thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of fate. <clears throat> when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, you'll get to him. Okay. I can't read. Yeah, my goodness. No, you can't. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring us to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ray, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Pray also for all the deceased members of each of our own families and welcome them, uh, welcome each of them into the light of your eternal home. Have mercy on all of us too, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and especially this evening, St. John the Baptist, who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. And Grimish Kananahir, Fui Maravun, Arslan, Hor, Duing, Ayenov. Arnahir. Gunefa Danim, Gunefa Dahalan, Nalav, Mayantaranav. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, with your and let us now offer one another the sign of the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on the Maruf, but only say the word of my soul shall be. Try to bring me to last night.
with you into the hands of oh the Lord I commend my spirit Lord Jesus receive my soul Amen. O sacrament most holy divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment what if there's a if more different everybody is received Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever to stay be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. So let us pray. On this feast of St. John the Baptist, having feasted a banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, your church may know, as the author of a rebirth, that Christ whose coming John foretold, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And before the final blessing, let me once again now thank each and every one of you now for being here. Thanks to the choir and thanks to the band, of course, who are so faithful to all our masses in the parish and for enhancing our liturgy at all times. I'm sure everybody has received. If, that, if somebody in the car hasn't received, we can, they can still receive. And John Anthony, of course, for there in the car here beside me for setting up the microphones and uh, I know Dan Joe there is taking a video I'm not so sure when that's going to be seen when you can be looking at yourselves <laughs> the Lord be with you all I may the blessing now the almighty God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon each and every one of you now upon all your families and remain with you all forever Amen we go now in peace to announce the gospel of the Lord and I think James prayed of course in the prayers of the faithful for Lord who prepared the will so general thanks to everybody who prepares for this evening's mass <laughs>
Yeah, but sure, uh, sure, uh, you know, I didn't mean that my kid made it for.